on an assignment representing a generation of people in your family that could not be here but because you're here I said because you are here I said because you are here Because you are here your cousin will be delivered today Because you are here your uncle shall be delivered your aunt shall be delivered the spirit of addiction shall be broken from all of their family in the name of Jesus break of that family Somebody shout because I am here. Somebody say because I am here. Sickness cannot stay in my family. Cancer cannot stay in my family. Because I am here. Perversion cannot stay in my family. Because I am here. No type of dark demon. No, no type, type of, of demon. demon. No demon of darkness. No demon of darkness. Can, stay in my can stay in my family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am a curse breaker. 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 Somebody say, because of the fire of God. Because of the fire of God. Because of this altar of fire. Because of this altar of fire. Because of the gates of fire. Because of the gates of fire. Because of resurrection fire. Because of resurrection fire. No type of demon. No type of demon can survive. Can survive in my family. In my family. No demon. No demon. No ancestral curse. No ancestral curse. No bloodline curse. No generational curse. No curse from my mother's house, from my father's house, shall be able to exist in my family because I am on this altar. I am at the gate of fire. I am on the altar of fire. I serve a God of resurrection fire, of resurrection power. Oh, somebody shout. The curse will not stand. Somebody say the curse will not stand. The curse will not stand. The curse will not stand. So every demonic gate, the gates of hell, shall not prevail against my life, against my family. In the name of Jesus, say no gates of hell shall prevail over me. In the name of Jesus, say this loud with power. Say you gates of hell, I defeat you. I destroy you. I tear you down. I vanquish you. I vanquish you. I assassinate you. I annihilate you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. Oh, he gates. Lift up your hands. Oh, he gates. Lift up your hands. He everlasting doors. King of glory. King of glory. Come into me. Come into my life. Come into my life. Somebody should be shouting right now. Rasia 
Every curse of bondage is broken from my life, it's broken from my family in the mighty name of Jesus. Every gate of sickness, every gate of sickness, every gate of disease, every gate of disorder, moving to my family in the name of Jesus. I defeat you, I defeat you. You gate of pain. Of sickness, of paralysis, of cancer, of disorder, mental disorder, in the name of Jesus, go from my life. You gates of stagnation, you gates of stagnation, you gates of hindrance, you gates of blockage, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. Fire the Lord, fire the Lord, fire the Lord, fire the Lord. Chicago Bulls, Baba, Baba, in the name of Jesus, you evil gates, you demonic gates, you gates of delay, you gates of delay. In my life, I break your powers, I break your stronghold. In the name of Jesus, every demonic gate, gates of witchcraft, gates of sorcery, gates of divination, gates of occult powers, gates of the Freemason, gates of fraternities, gates of the occult, gates of the Eastern Star, gates of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus, I defeat your powers today. I cast your powers down. I destroy every one of them. You will not prevail in my life. In the name of Jesus. Gates of torment. Gates of bad dreams. Gates of nightmares. Gates of hiding. Gates of hiking. Spirits from the grave. In the name of Jesus. You gates of hell. You gates of the grave. Jesus defeated you. Rapasata. So today, I defeat you. I defeat you. I defeat you. Rapapapapapapasota. Gates of delay, gates of stagnancy, gates of sorcery, be destroyed in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every demonic gate that causes you to fail, that causes you to feel like a failure, even in the job arena, in the name of Jesus, you wicked gates, you wicked gates, gates in the job, gates in the workplace, want you to be jobless, why don't you be stagnant? Why don't you to be fired? Yeah. Why don't you to be demoted? Yeah. I destroy you, gates of the realm of the spirit. I shall not be destroyed. I will not be defeated. I shall be promoted. In the name of Jesus, I call for my promotion. I call for my promotion. In the name of Jesus, resurrection gates, gates of power. In the name of Jesus, somebody shall I receive it? Somebody 
Jesus said, every demonic gate that has raised his hand against my life and against my family, say today, those gates are no more. As I mash my feet, Jesus said, you shall crush the head of the serpent. It shall bruise your heel. I want you to do it seven times in the name of Jesus. Seven times. Go Shabakada. Say, you serpent, I crush your head. I crush your head. I crush your head. I trample your head. As you're doing this, you have to do it with power and authority. In the name of Jesus. You serpent. Around my feet. I see several of you. Every time you were about to go forward, it's like something tangled you up. It's you. You try to go forward. There were several of you, you keep dreaming about these snakes in your dreams and something tangling you up. Praise God. It's like something tangled you. I, I even see that there's several of you, you were even dreaming in the last several months of you tripping over and falling. Praise God. You shall not fail. You shall not fall. You shall prevail. Hallelujah. I say you shall not fall. Yes. You shall prevail. Yes. In the name of Jesus. I want you to do it seven times. Say, I, I trample you under my feet in the name of Jesus. Take off. Say, I trample you under my feet in the name of Jesus. Do it, do it with power. Come on, do it with power. Everywhere the sole of your feet shall tread upon. God shall give it to you. God shall give it to you. Shabaya. 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 Pray, pray. my life working against my purpose working against my assignment working against my abilities I trample you I trample you under my feet I destroy you I destroy your kingdom you serpent I destroy you there have been powers working against your relationships these are all gates of hell that's why some of you go into a relationship and they're short-lived. You cannot last. You cannot last. It's just like, it starts out good. And before long, something perverts that relationship. Something brings confusion in that relationship. Today, in the name of Jesus, at the gates and altar of resurrection fire, let those hands say, in the name of Jesus, every gate that comes to destroy good relationships. Every gate of darkness that comes to destroy good relationships. I defeat you in the name of Jesus. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. I crush you in the name of Jesus. I take your powers. I take your keys. I command you in the name of the Lord to lose the blessings of good relationships. I command you to lose the blessings of good relationships. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the gates of good relationship, of good partnership, of influence be open to me today. Be open to me right now. Divine connections, doors of opportunity, gates of opportunity, 
gates of favor be open to me right now in the name of Jesus. I command every door, every gate of opportunity be open, be open, be open, be open, be open, be open now. Every gate, every gate that is holding my opportunity, that's holding my opportunity. Every, gate every gate that's holding my favor, that's holding my favor. Wherever, my favor is, wherever my favor is that belong to me it has my name on it in the name of Jesus I enter the realms of the spirit I command that gate gates of favor gates of increase in the name of Jesus be open to me in the name of Jesus no longer will my gates be closed according to Isaiah 45 he shall open to me the leave gates the two leave gates and I shall be able to go in and out continually. He shall give me the treasures of secret places. He shall give me the treasures even of darkness. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your heads. Oh, he gates. Be lifted up. The everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Give God a God and Jesus' best friend had just died. They called him while he was in a revival. And they said, Jesus, your best friend, Lazarus, just died. Huh. Jesus continued to cast out demons. He continued to preach. He continued to declare. And when he was finished, he said to his disciples, let us go and wake him. Amen. And the Bible said, as soon as he got there, the boy of God says, Mary and Martha greeted him. And they said, Jesus, if only you were here, our brother would not have to believe that if Jesus was present, when the doctors diagnosed Lazarus, he would have overcome. I don't know who God is talking to today. But he said, tell the people, have faith in the power of the resurrection. Power. Have faith in the power of God. The Bible said when they said that to Jesus, if that was a prophet of this day and time, he would have feel proud. He would have said, you see how much confidence they have in me. My God. Jesus said, huh? I intentionally didn't come. Oh. He said, show me where they laid him. Oh my God. Show me on, where they put his body. Jesus. Hallelujah. That's the resurrection power of Jesus. Hallelujah. They got to the graveyard. When they got to the graveyard, the Bible said Jesus lifted up his hands and he said, Lazarus! My God, come on. Where are you? Lazarus! My God. He called out to him. Somebody said, Come forward. Come forward. He said, Lazarus, come forward. Come forward. And the Bible said, but before he did that, he told the people to roll the tomb away. Yes. Roll the stone away. I only came today to tell someone Jesus has rolled a stone away. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out, sleeper! I came to tell you as we go Hallelujah! Jesus has rolled you are stone oh away. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 He has rolled the stone away. If you see the stone is rolled away something what's about to happen then hallelujah. hallelujah 
I said, what's about to happen here next? The gates of fire is open. The gates of resurrection fire. The gates of fire. The gates of resurrection fire. Shabbatana. I say the gates of resurrection fire. The gates of fire. Flaming fire. The gates of power. He said, roll the stone away. And when they rolled the stone away, Jesus waited for a few seconds. And then he said, Lazarus, it's time to come forward. It's time to resurrect. When Mary and Martha told Jesus, we only wish you was here, Lazarus would not have died. You know what Jesus' answer to them was? He said, I am the resurrection. I am the resurrection. Hallelujah. I am. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I am the life. Yes. I am the resurrection. Yes. I am the life. Yes. Even though you were dead, yes. yet shall you live. Yes. Hallelujah. Somebody should just receive that word right there. Receive it. 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 I said, receive it. Please hear these people. I receive it. I want to hear your voice. Because there's no use I saying it. And you are not saying it. There must be an agreement. He said, I am, I am yes. the resurrection of the life. Even though you were dead, yeah. even though your situation was right off, even though it looked like immigration can't find your application, I am, yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am the resurrection of the life. Yes. You shall receive your approval. Hallelujah. You shall receive your residency. You shall receive your citizenship. You shall receive your inheritance. You shall receive your house. You shall receive your blessing. Your womb shall bear your children. You shall have trouble. Trouble for your trouble. You shall get married. I prophesy that the resurrection and the life is here. Somebody shall I receive. Somebody shall I receive it? Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Say, shall I receive it? I receive it. Say, I will get married. I will get married. I will be married. I will be married. I will be married. My marriage will last. My marriage will last. Gates of marriage. Open to me. Open to me. Open, open, open. Resurrection fire. Resurrection fire. In the name of Jesus. You shall bear your babies. No more miscarriages. For your sin, you will have twins. For your pain, you will have twins. Hallelujah. No more five points. No more cysts in that womb. No more cancer in that body. In Jesus' name. Why? Why did God say, I release today the gate and the altar of resurrection fire? Some fires, if you light a match, you can blow it out. But there is a certain level of fire that comes straight from God. Am I talking to somebody? The fire that Elijah called from heaven, the Bible 
Bible said in the temple there was a fire that comes down after the priest has worshipped and gave a sacrifice. There's a fire that comes down. Somebody, you can't fight it. Get down. Get down. Get down. You cannot fight this fire. Jesus, tell the person beside you, you cannot fight this fire. You cannot fight this fire. You, you know, no you should try to act like you. Like you top model. Uh -uh. This fire that I'm talking about, he said this is the fire that's on the altar in the book of Leviticus 6. It shall never go out. So you were wondering why God gave us that sound unquenchable fire let me tell you why because the fire of God is unquenchable it means you can't contain it you can't explain it you can't control it no witch could manipulate it we see it stand up like I got this <laughs> okay uh -uh. when the unquenchable fire when the resurrection fire hit you yes you want it to consume you it takes over your being <laughs> there's at least 17 people right now that fire is about to hit your bank account. Receive it. Receive it. Supernatural. Supernatural money. That's an that bank account. Supernatural money. That's an that bank account. Summon that to me. And so, receive it in the back there. Over here. It's not something that man can say, look, see, see. They told me, they began to play the video back on Friday, Friday night. And they put it in a certain mode. I don't know nothing about this, but my media people, some of them was explaining it to me. And they began to say, the press team, some of them, began to notice that smoke was coming out of my body. Now, I had not even stopped ministering yet. I had only just began to pace on the stage. So you can't say it was heat and coal and vapor. It was like smoke that was coming out of my body and out of my mouth. And I began to tell them, I said, hmm. so you just seen this. He's And even as they began to look at me, they say, prophetess, it's as though you became transfigured for a moment in the presence of the Lord. And we could not even see you now on the normal screen. You can see I am there. But in that realm, as they slowed it down, they said it looked as if I was consumed and engulfed by something. The fiery presence of God. Why is it called unquenchable fire? Because it is incorruptible. It cannot be quenched. It cannot be Hallelujah. 
See, you just got to be ready to receive it. If you're walking in the flesh, you'll never receive it. Oh, I'm just standing right here. I need, I need to make sure that I look sick so prophetess could locate me. Baby doll, you be looking sick all yeah. Because the fire only relates to the fire. Jabandurubo Shata. So there got to be a desire of the fire hey. on the inside of you. Am I talking to somebody? Talking. Am I talking to somebody? Talking. Talking. The fire of God got to be able to identify and relate to your desire. So that's when Jesus said, whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, so some of y'all, what you've been praying for is what's manifested right now in this fire. Now, now come on, can I get a witness? Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm looking for some people I can bless, but I, I guess I, because So that's why he said to the priest in the book of Leviticus, he said, take the fire and put it on the altar. Yes. And he said, in Leviticus 6, he said, let the fire be ever burning. Do not. Come on now. Come on. Come on, Clarice. Come on. Don't let the fire go out. Ever go out. Am I talking to somebody? He said, put the fire Come on, bro. Hey. on top of the altar. Hey. And don't ever, don't ever, don't let it watch her, watch her, watch her, please. The fire. Put it on the altar. Don't let it ever go out. He said, he told the priest in Leviticus 6, put it on the altar, verse 12. And when you put it on the altar, don't let it go out. Keep the fire burning. Keep the fire burning. Keep the fire burning. My daughter Lynn, keep the fire burning. You don't worry about feeling like you're displaced. And don't worry about looking stupid in the eyes of people. Because you ain't know what you're doing. The truth is you ain't know what you're doing. But God know what he's doing. Eh? I say God know what he's doing in you. And the fire you will never, never go out. Come here, Maya. Come here. The fire you will never go out. How can these people be bank managers and lawyers? They know God's fire will never, never go out. Somebody say fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. Resurrection fire. Holy Ghost. Listen. I got two minutes. He say, he say, Put the fire on top of the altar and let it be burning day and night. Don't ever let it go out. So I say, God, and that's what He showed me about 20 something years ago. He said, If there's an altar, there's got to be a sacrifice. And if there's a sacrifice, there's got to be oil. And if there's oil, there's got to be fire. Now, now, hold on. I know you want to shout bad, 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 right? So, the oil is what is produced in your life. That's called the anointing. Correct? You stir that up. You determine how much oil you carry. How much oil you want in your lap. Ask the ten virgins. Am I talking to somebody? Everybody had a lap. But each virgin... Had to determine, Ryan, how much oil. Hey! I say, how much oil? Run, 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 mama, the pink. Zappa, Shata. How much oil? 
I'm a joy. I'm a joy. I'm a joy. Fresh <laughs> on. Jesus' name. So you, you determine how much oil you carry in your lap. Ten virgins, Matthew 25. Five were wise, five was foolish. They all had lamps. I can see plenty of lamps. But how much of y'all carry in oil? And then, how much of y'all is able to have access to the extended oil? Because it was not just about having oil in the lamps. It was about even to carry extra oil in case the bridegroom tarry. Am I talking to somebody? I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, it's got to be overflow. The overflow oil. So you think the move of God is just taking place in this building today. But God got more. 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 So that oil in you, you got to keep the oil. And the way to keep it is to keep the fire. So the fire comes from God. The oil is stirred up and cultivated on the inside of you. When you pray, when you come to 6 a.m. prayer, when you come to Wednesday night prayer, you don't care whether we're in a building or on Zoom. But you still come and you come on and you pray. You pray with me 6 a.m. every morning. Because you're trying to keep your, your oil. And you want the oil there because with the oil you also know the fire. Hallelujah. Am I talking to you? So the fire comes from God. The fire that comes from God is incorruptible. No witch could touch it. It's the ring of fire. That's what I saw in here today. A ring of fire. A ring of fire. Oh my God. A never ending circle of fire. Hey. I asked God. I asked him, Minister Chris. I asked him, Apostle. What is this resurrection fire? What is this fire like this? He say, the resurrection fire and the gates of fire is a perpetual fire just like this my daughter it's perpetual it don't ever go out nobody can put it out if they try to stop you they can't stop you if the devil tried to discourage you he can it's a ring a ring it's a ring it's a ring it's a ring it don't ever go out you can't backslide you don't need to be telling nobody, I ain't gonna have a backslide. Cause you ain't gonna have a backslide. It just never. Watch it. Watch it. So. So. How do I know? Because now. Prophetess, what is this? You just point. You just wave. And things happen. If you are a fool, you will say it's psychology. If you are a child of God, that understand when Jesus blew on the people, watch out. The Bible said they fell as dead. Am I talking? Because the fire is like wind. The fire is bread. The fire is love. The fire is light. The fire is burning the fire knows how to fight the fire is divine protection it's like a canopy the fire is a mighty weapon are you hearing me that God has given to thee take hold of the fire every night and every day take hold of the fire even when you go to pray take hold of the fire and hear what I say. The resurrection fire of God has come your way. Hallelujah. Somebody shout.
life will never be the same. Tell her what I just said. Your life will never be the same. I changed your house. I changed your family. In Jesus' name. Their lives will never be the same. Thank you, Providence. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Glory to God. Her life will never be the same. I'm telling you, I'm standing here. I can see many of you. I touch you. Her life will never be the same. Listen. So, this is your last point. So, prophetess, how does the fire on the altar never go out? Do you want to know? Do you want to know? The fire of the altar never go out because there's an order of priesthood of people of priesthood in the temple, mama. And they have been holy unto God. Many different orders in the temple. High priests, Levites, all orders, Sadoks, Zadoks, all types of priests. But there's a order of priests that is called the keepers of the flea. Oh. These are keepers of the flea. And they are responsible for making sure every day when the oil is going low, they go there to each lantern. I call. My God. They go there and they add oil. They sing. Watch up, please. Put it down. They sing. These are the singers, the Levites. Can you imagine, Megan? Can you imagine? Dancers. Keepers of the flame. Do you understand what everybody's role is? Singers, worshipers, dancers. Ushers, protocol, musicians, oh, media people keeping the flame. Intercessors, intercessors, intercessors. Inter of the flame so that the fire and the flames on the altar never go out this coming Friday night we will be distributing more of this flame on Friday April the 5th In the book of Hebrews and also Psalm 104, he said, my angels are like wind and spirit and my ministry, my ministers, a flame of fire, a flame of fire. That's who apostle is. That's who I am. We are flames of fire. We came to reintroduce and to also help fan the flames of revival fire in America America will serve God again America will serve the only God the creator of the universe the mighty Elohim the I am that I am the great I am somebody shout fire revival America Hallelujah. So listen to me today. We are the keepers of the flame. We are here for such a time as this. God sent us to Georgia. In case you were not here last night and you did not hear the announcement. This revival has just been pushed into extension. It's not ending today anymore. Hallelujah. I God. The revival 
level is not ending today anymore. God told us to go to the overflow. To the overflow room. To the overflow room. To the, oh, I say to the overflow room. You've been praying. Some of y'all been fasting. Some of y'all been asking. Some of y'all been begging God. And so your prayers have been heard and answered. Your prayers have been heard and your prayers have been answered. You've been praying because you said, God, I need my grandchildren saved. And I know some of them didn't make it to this revival, but maybe they'll come to the overflow revival. There's some people that didn't make it to this one, but they'll come to the extended revival. Hallelujah. So God spoke to Apostle and I and he said, stay in this city for a little while longer. He says, stay in, in Georgia. Stay in Georgia for a few days more. Any witnesses in here tonight? Anybody glad? Anybody happy? Hallelujah. 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 Listen to me carefully. There are just several more of you I need to pray for before I go. And I'll be done. But the Lord said, as we get ready in these several days in the overflow, he said, what he's about to do, eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard. This revival, the, the extension is, may not be for everybody, even though it's available to everybody. Whether you live in Georgia or not, whether you live in Alabama or not, God is talking to you right now. God is talking to you. God is talking to you. So you make a decision that you want the oil to continue to flow. That you want the fire to continue to burn. And as you make that decision, you go on to this link. And you click on to that link. And you register. Register yourself. Register yourself. And say, Apostle and Prophetess, I'm coming to the extended revival. I'm coming to the overflow. I see the way some of y'all looking. Because some of y'all saying, oh, Jesus. I got to go back home. Go home and come back. Right. Rent a tent. Right. In the name of Jesus. Find an Airbnb. Yes. And find out if a hundred of y'all could stay in that Airbnb. <laughs> God say, what he's about to do, he don't want it to end no time soon. Is it working? Is the link working? Yes. Is it working? Yes, yes, prophetess. Praise God. Listen to me. There's only a limited amount of seats. There's only a limited amount of seats. Maybe three or four hundred people. Praise God. Maybe three or four hundred. You right there. You can't be saying, oh, well, I guess it ain't enough seat for me. Hey! I'll just be saying, I'm one of them. I'm one of them. Am I talking to somebody? Somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to learn how to follow the cloud. Most people just follow the crowd. But when the fire of God is present, the Bible said he sent a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. When the cloud is present, you have to follow the cloud because the cloud represents the presence and the glory of God. My God. Don't follow crowds. Don't just follow people because they got millions of followers. Find where the cloud is. Find the prophet that's carrying right. the cloud of fire. That's it, prophet. It's my God. Find the apostle that's carrying yes. the cloud. My God. Connect with that cloud of fire. Follow it. What some of y'all go online right now. Believersfaith.com. Register yourself. It's free. Apostle and I, we made it easy for you and your family to come. My sister in the back there, y'all been praying for us to come to Georgia for a long time. Some of y'all been asking God for us to come to Georgia. Well, praise God, we here. And guess what? We ain't going nowhere. We ain't leaving. Hallelujah. We ain't leaving. You prayed and we came. You should also know.
that God told us to start with his call. B-F-O-M-I Global Georgia. Give God a shout of praise. Clap your hands and give God a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell the person on the side, you say, I'm on board. I'm on board. Say, I'm on board. BFOMI Global. Georgia. It, it, it not, not only Georgia, but if you, some of you was driving, listen. Some of y'all was driving from New York to Florida. That's it. Now you only gotta come from New York to Georgia. And you only come to Florida when you feel like it. Do you get me? Or something special you're looking in. When Apostle or I, one of us will be here on and off by the grace of God, however he leads us. Amen. One of us will come. Our ministers, everyone will be a part of it. God is doing something new in America. Our headquarters is in South Florida. BFOMI Global Church is in South Florida. As our headquarters, it's your headquarters. Oh yes! Hallelujah! Our executive offices are there. Our administrative offices are there. Yes. Our Bible College is also there. Oh my God! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Our bookstore is there. Everything that you need is in the headquarters. So we're, we're expanding, we're growing. We're just now learning everything, how to put things in order. So it is well, we are happy. And thanks to those of you that have been helping us to understand America. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 So we give God praise. I also want to say today, as we enter Georgia, we are also believing God. We don't mind renting hotels, but to rent a hotel, even like this, is costing us some very serious money. So like this, like this, the Georgia Dome, we spent like almost a million dollars over there. This event, believe it or not, our budget is almost a million dollars also. You don't just come inside these arenas like this. You charge for everything. You pay for everything. Everything, the la you pay for everything, the carpet. You know, somebody said the other day, they, they were staying in a particular hotel. You know, I won't call the name of the hotel. It was so expensive. And um, so when they got their folio and they saw all the taxes, they called all their children. They had four children. They said, go back in that bathroom. Bring every towel. <laughs> go in the cupboards in that bathroom. Bring every roll of tissue. <laughs> bring the liquid soap. Bring the shampoo. Jimmy, bring the lotion. <laughs> the children say, Mommy, Daddy, what are we doing? They said, Put them in the suitcase. And the daddy turned around and say, Wife, pull down all them curtains. Listen, don't carry no people curtains and towels. The hotel was so expensive. They was tempted to carry everything. But it's no little change here. It's thousands of dollars. Thousands and thousands of dollars. If you're going to spend over $300,000 just to rent a space and to rent rooms, you know you have spent money. And much less transport and other equipment. Everything. I want us to do something today. I want us to commit to sow into the missions. 
and to sow into fire revival, America and the nations. Could I get a witness today? I want us to commit to that. But I want you people to come and support. We have rented another hotel called the Four Seasons Hotel. Amen. It's just as expensive. But we didn't care. We booked it for another Friday night, which is Friday coming. I know you're not going to disappoint us. I know you're going to be there. I want you to come. Let's continue this revival that God started. Let's continue it. Let's go into the overflow together. In the name of Jesus. So that this place can be saved and delivered. So that the fire of God can rest on this altar. Bring it in to me, mommy. I saw what God is doing in your life. May God bless your family. May he bless your family bountifully. And may the fire on this altar connect with the fire in your life and in your family, Thank all the way back to Jamaica, and let it never Thank go out. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So let it be, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want some of you to do me a favor today. I want you to stand with me and Apostle. We want to get our own building here in Georgia. We told you last night, we noticed a few churches for sale. And, uh, we don't, have, we don't have the patience for hotels. I, honestly, I don't. They want to tell you when to turn it up, when to turn it down. They want to tell you everything. I don't have patience for it. I don't care if they're listening right now. I thank God for this hotel. It is beautiful. I thank God for the management and staff of the hotel. Praise God. Most of them have been very courteous to us. And we are grateful for this, reverend, this uh, venue. They've, most of them have been kind. Hallelujah. And patient with us. They should be. Because we are, the, we are the experiment, you know. It's brand new. They've not had to use half of this equipment. Everything, everything, everything. So they should be thanking us also. So what God will do for you, it can never be. Let him come, please. It can never be taken away. Let the curses be broken off of your life, sir. Even as you have faith in God. I, as I touch you, I touch your family. I touch your wife. I touch your son, your daughters. May God deliver them. Let the plague and the curse, even from the altars of your ancestors, all the way back in Africa, let it be broken in the name of Jesus. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let the plague be over. I say let the plague be over. You know, some people, it's like a plague over their house. I pray to God, let the plague be over from your house. In the name of Jesus. Now I'm going to do something today. I don't care. I don't know. Are we live or not? I don't know. We are. Nobody told me. Praise God. Uh, no, I should know. Amen. Here's the point. I uh, you have to know when the cloud of pillar of fire is moving in an area and you have to be willing to follow it. Now what I'm about to do, Moses did the exact same thing. When it was time to build the temple, Moses, Moses, for all you haters out there online, did the same thing. He asked the people to give. He asked the people to do what? Give. To give. Yes. Apostle. Because they were getting ready to rear the tent, to rear the tabernacle. And so he knew he couldn't do it by himself. In fact, God suggested to him to tell the people, go and borrow from their masters. Yeah. Now the purpose of the borrowing was because a day was coming when Moses was going to need the proceeds yes. to build the tabernacle. Yes. Is this true? Amen. So, what he did, he asked the people to bring yes. everything that they had. Sometimes it's the thing that you have in storage. Sometimes it's the thing you have on that reserve account. Sometimes it's that thing you have that you want to hold on to for hard times. Moses says, 
bring it. As they begin to bring it, apostle, it was so much. It was so much. They laid it at his feet. They put it in his hand. It was so much. They had to almost stop the people from giving. That's right. Now, we are starting a church in Georgia. We are barely started in Florida. In fact, in Florida, we are still searching for our real estate. We are still searching for our real estate. But we know it's there. And it's going to be done. God said he sent angels to build that city in Florida. That's where the headquarters will be. And this is a branch of the stem. Yes. Of Jesse. Oh, Hallelujah. yes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Now, you saw how we built the Bahamas, right? Several million dollars, over seven million dollars. Our church building is debt free. Our school building is debt free. Everything we do, almost $10 million, debt free. And this assignment should not be a pain to us. That's right. I want to ask for you. It's going to be 120 people that's going to so lavishly into the Georgia. And the South Florida, that's a different branch. That's the headquarters. But I'm talking about this one today, 120 people. You're going to sow into our missions, into our building, into our everything we're doing to win souls. And I want you to hear me. Hallelujah. The first 25 people, the Lord is going to talk to you about sowing a seed of $10,000. 10000 10000 10000 10,000. That's right, sister. Give God a praise. 10,000. Hallelujah. 10,000. 10,000. And more people should be clapping. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 25 people. Yes, God. 10,000. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's another group of you. You want to sell 5,000. There's another group, 1,000. Are you understanding me today? Praise God. You determine which group you in hallelujah which group you in and then there's a small group a small group of 12 people that's going to sow a seed of 25,000 I am not stressed out I am not even shaking right now I already know that it is done in Jesus name hallelujah, hallelujah. thank you Lord the others of you that don't have none of them things called thousand. You may have hundreds. You may have fifties. You may have fives. You just give as the Lord tell you to give. I am not shaken. There may even be someone to sow a hundred thousand. Somebody may say, prophetess, I feel like I'm going to sow a hundred thousand. I'm going to sow a hundred thousand. Somebody may even say, I feel like I may just be the one to give that million again. Oh my oh. God! Somebody say, do it, Lord! Do it, Lord! Do it! Do it, do it Holy Ghost! Oh. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Yes. As soon as you disqualify doubt, you disqualify yourself. As soon as you doubt, you disqualify yourself. But if you say, I am the one. It shall be done. I don't even look at you people. When we first said that in the Bahamas that we were building that church like that, people look at us like, they were shaking. And now the church is finished, totally finished. That's right. Hallelujah. Our faith is in God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Those of you, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've been giving out keys all week long. I've been giving out keys all week long. All month long, I should say. During the month of March. Keys. But I want to release this new set of keys. New set of keys. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 
I want to release to those other keys to people that want to stand with building the building for Georgia. Yes. With securing the building for Georgia. Hallelujah. I want to I want to release those keys to them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because I believe in the name of Jesus Christ that the kingdom of God shall be established and it shall be built. It shall be bought. It shall be purchased. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need acres of land. We need acres and acres of land. We don't need a half an acre. We don't need a storefront. We need lots of land. Let me just give you something. One of the churches that is for sale, I don't want to say too much because now they tell me we are live, is close to maybe $5 million. Can I ask you, what is $5 million for God? Mm. One of them. So we don't know what God's will will be concerned in that building. We don't know why they're selling it. We don't even care why they're selling it. But it's ready to go. Says we just need to... Listen, my team went and saw one of the buildings. And they say, prophetess and apostle. You all just, it's turnkey. Just bring your fire and come. <laughs> just bring your fire and come. Hallelujah. If any of those people that are here today with that $10,000 seed and you want to write a check today, you want to write that check today, praise God, just lift your hands. The ushers are there with the envelopes. Praise God. If you are here and you feel led of the Lord to write that check, praise God. Amen. Just lift your hands. The ushers will find you. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands. If you want to write that check right now today, hallelujah, and you feel the Lord is leading you to sow that seed, they are, they are there to facilitate you. $10,000. On the day when Moses made that announcement, the people started giving so much they had to stop them. Yes. They had to say, we have to stop them. They're giving too much. They're giving too much. Praise God. And God, amen. Hallelujah. Received it of them. I know we talked about the $1,000 seed earlier. If that is you, praise God, amen. If you want to do the 1000 please raise your hands quickly. Hallelujah. Now, I'm only releasing a certain amount of keys today. And I only do it as the Lord allow me to do it. These people who are sowing this seed here, amen, I am going to be releasing the keys to you. Because I believe that God will give us the keys to cities. You, the keys to nations. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's no gimmick. It's no nothing. I'm telling you just what it is. And the people who have gotten the keys so far, they will tell you they have not... It wasn't because they gave something or they... The Lord just sent me to different people and said, Take this key. Doors are being opened for you. Take this key. Gates are being opened for you. Take this key. Something is changing for you. Hallelujah. 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 I want to put a key in your hand. So those of you, please raise your hands quickly. Hallelujah. If there's a 10,000... Of his 1,000. Praise God. Amen. That's where we're going right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And I believe that as we release the keys, as we release it, because think some of you have been leading for with your business. I believe that it's going to happen. It's going to be activated for you. I believe it's going to turn. I believe it's going to be unlocked. He said, the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. But he said, open to me the gates of righteousness and I will go into you. So that's what I believe is going to happen. Somebody may say, well, ah, they're only giving the keys to millionaires. Hallelujah. They're only giving the keys to blessed people. No, you would have been watching over the past several weeks. I went to people that I've never even seen before. And I said, God said, put a key in your hand. Am I talking to someone? Hallelujah. <laughs> uh -uh, I don't operate like that. I go by the leading of the Spirit of God. And I'm just saying today, those of you, in this moment right here, praise God, whether it's your check, your credit card. Thank you, Lord. If you're making a check, make it payable to BFO AMI Global. Is that okay? BFO AMI Global. Yes, that's Amen. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you're making a check, BFO AMI Global. Yes, sir. Sata. Hallelujah. God, the man, the prophet met the woman. 
He asked the woman, what do you have in your hand? What is in your house? And she said, all I have is a little bit of meal. I'm about to bake this cake. And then me and my son are going to die. And the prophet said to the woman, before you bake that cake for you, bake it for me and bring it to me. Yes. And when she gave it to the man of God, he blessed it. And he says, now go. God has worked a miracle for you. People of God, I don't play with the anointing. You've seen me. Many of you have seen me. You, you know my ministry. I'll get on the ground with you. I'll tarry with you. I'll labor with you. Because I believe in the power of God. I believe in the authenticity of the gospel. Yes. And I want to say one more thing, Pastor Roka. Before I receive some of these people's seeds. Those of you keep your hands up until somebody reach to you. Just keep your hands up until they reach to you. More of your hands need to go up. Praise God. It's a thousand dollar seed you're believing God for today. The key that will unlock some supernatural things for you in the realm of the spirit. Some key that will unlock it. Is the physical key is going in your hand. But the spiritual key is being released to you in the realms of the spirit. Do you understand that? Last night we saw people jump out of wheelchairs, jump out of walkers, jump out of stretches, jump and threw their crutches down and started walking. That can only happen because God is present. Now let me say this. I'm not going to fight with nobody in this world. You will never see me coming down to people level to fight with them on social media and to try to prove them wrong in any sense. So, Whatever people feel they want to do out there. And they went from trying to call me a witch because I gave you water. And I said, the Lord told me that day to put salt in the water. As he's done it so many times throughout scriptures. He put meal in the water and the, in, in the pot that was bitter and the poison left the meal. He took a branch and he put it in the waters and the waters that were bitter in Myra became sweet. Are you people hearing this? Listen to me carefully. I want to make an announcement. Now they're saying because I took my birthday cake and used it as a communion cake and gave it to the people yes, on my did. birthday. Yes. They said that I'm feeding the people witch cake, witchcraft cake. Nice. <laughs> I want to make an announcement. Please make sure the camera can see me very clear. And make sure that the voice can be hear me very clear. Come on, clear. prophetess. Deal with it. Can you all hear me? Yes, ma'am. If I am a witch, yep. I want to tell you Jesus is a bigger witch than me. My God. I want to repeat if I am a witch Jesus is a bigger witch than me because I got this thing from breaking bread and keep feeding it to people from Jesus If I am a witch, Jesus is the biggest witch doctor in the whole wild world. How about prophet? He's the first one I see. He took five loaves, two fish, and started feeding it to the people. Come on, prophet. Come on. Hallelujah. If he's a witch, I'm a witch. If Jesus, if I'm a witch, Elijah is also a witch. Come on. If all of these, I am a witch. That means Paul is also a witch. Because they took from his body handkerchief. Come on. He took from his body the handkerchief. Yes, prophet. Hallelujah. And gave it to the people. Shepherd.
they took from his body a handkerchief and put it on the sick people put it on their children put it on their loved ones and the Bible said evil spirits departed from them I even ain't, I even ain't, I even ain't give out the the prayer towels that been on my altar for nine years I, I haven't even released them I maybe have given like 20 or 21 they've been on the altar for how many years about nine years nine years did I bring any in the service Sam I brought some in the service Listen. Maybe I don't know what God wants me to do. I'm already in trouble. I'm already in trouble. I'm already in trouble. I think I'm already in trouble. I want to repeat. If if I am a witch, if I am a witch doctor for praying over water. And even some days, your own water. Some services I did, I say, guess what? Just bring your bottle. And let's see what Jesus will do. And you have to see me with your water. <laughs> so much less my water. People are crazy. People are crazy. I give a word. I say, if I'm a witch, Jesus is a bigger witch. If I am a witch, then Elijah is a.k.a. witch doctor number two. My God, Jesus. If I am a witch, Paul is a first class chariot witch because he allowed the people to take his handkerchief and they was healed and delivered and they started manifesting Hallelujah. and they were set free. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So I give a word and I give a warning. Then they say, oh, she letting people touch her, her garment. Well, they touch Jesus' garment. That's right. Am I not a son of God? Am I not a child of God? Right. Listen, right. I am not in the same class with Jesus. I am just a servant of God. I am a son of God. Yes. You are a son of God. Yes. And the world is waiting for the sons of God to manifest. Yes. If, if I have the kind of faith that permits me to pray over anything. Don't mess with me. If I can find David five stones with the one would he kill Goliath, then I'll pray over that and give it to you. Listen, if I could find Samson jawbone of the ass and chop that up in a hundred pieces and say, huh, huh, huh. <laughs> it's just. They may be always, but the anointing is ancient, it's present. It's ancient, but it's present. So whatever we bless, the word anoint, let me give this to them uneducated, illiterate people. The word anoint means to set aside unto God. Anything that you anoint in the name of Jesus Christ and set aside and dedicate it unto God, that thing can become anointed. You're right, I, I gotta go. Yes. The anointing is tangible. It can be tangible. And it can also be transferable. So I can take this shoe off. The girl you saw running up and down in here that was in a wheelchair the last time we came to Georgia. I took my shoe off and I pour oil in it. And I say, if this could fit you, you'll never worry about that wheelchair again. Am I talking to somebody? Hallelujah. Be it done unto you according to your faith. Listen, you cannot pay me enough. You cannot pay me enough money to sell you anything to tell you that it's going that way. You're a miracle. Is. The miracle is coming from God. But if He use a Towel. If he use a key, if he use sweat, if he took 
Jesus speak, he can use anything in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, will somebody give God a praise? say to one and I say to all keep your mouth off of God's prophets Hallelujah. you people on social media yes. take it as a warning the spirit of blindness will be assigned to you Hallelujah. leave God's prophets alone Hallelujah. I don't care whether they're in Africa I don't care whether they're in China I don't care whether they're in Korea I don't care whether they're in the Caribbean or they're in the United States of America. If that person is a true, authentic prophet of God, leave him alone. God will deal with his own prophets. Take your mouth off of them. Take your hand off of them. Yes. The, watch this woman. The sign of the judgment of God yes. will be blindness. Paul didn't joke. He just said to Elamus, be blind from this day forward. She all right. Be blind from this day forward. So some people in your family, don't worry, I have to pray. See, the reason why I don't want to answer some of these people out there, because first of all, I'm a servant of God. I'm a prophet of God. And if I answer the wrong thing, some of them will never rise again. So I say some of them will never rise again. Come on, rise. They will rise. remain impotent. Come on, rise. My God. Do it. I say to one, I say to all, leave God's prophet alone. Leave them. God will judge his prophets. Known unto God are the ways of man. In Jesus' name. To God be the glory. Give him praise. Yes, Pastor. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, Prophet. Amen. My God, what a powerful service this has been on today. We're giving God thanks and praise for the fire, revival, and resurrection power. Yes. This family from Jamaica, Prophet, is stepping forward to say they've already sowed a seed into this revival of $10,000. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And, Hallelujah. And because they believe in the fiery power of this altar so much, they are pledging an additional $10,000. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Somebody give God a praise. Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Jesus these these all the towel has been on my altar for nine years and I these were there for nine years in the Bahamas and we had to send a special flight to go and get them I was never going to move these, uh, these towels. I was never going to move them. You saw me walking up and down here. I'm even wrestling. I don't even know if I want to be live right now. I don't know. But so let it be. People are going to do what they're going to do. They're going to take your videos, edit it. They're going to sit there like they're some commander with their hair tie up and feel like they're doing God a favor. They don't know the handwriting is already on the wall against them. See, I also will stand in the judgment for anything I do that's not of God, that does not bring glory to God. Anything. Anything a prophet do. Some prophets choose not to, to do anything like this. Some prophets choose not to use oil. Some prophets choose not to pray over water. Some people choose. Some of them don't even pray over pictures because that's their choice. Do you understand? 
It doesn't make you great or small. But there are some prophets. You saw Moses use a stick, a rod. But Joshua used a sword. Every prophet is different. Hallelujah. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Jesus. So what God is doing, the apostle is just confirming to me over there. And he's saying, babes, everything that we do, we do it as unto God. Yes. And we do it in decency and in order. And he's encouraging me not to waste a single other minute with these wicked people out there in the world. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. So I'm going to receive of you this seed that's going to go for Georgia, that's going to go for missions, that's going to go for the building of the kingdom of God. Are you understanding? This is going to go for the work of the ministry. It's going to go for winning souls. And it's going to go for helping us to preach the gospel. Yes. To preach the gospel all over the world. As you are sowing into this anointing today, people of God, the Lord told us this is now Fire Revival America and the nations. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So this is just not no, I was, I don't know if I held the towel up. I hope I didn't. Amen. Because it's so easy for people to just all of a sudden, they, you hold it up, then all of a sudden you start seeing it showing up in Peru, in Brazil. These are Mari Nordic towels. Whatever they see you put on it, then they start copying it right away. So, I'm going to do something. I'm going to pray. I'm going to bless you in the name of Jesus. And then I'm going to release you to go. Praise God. And I'm going to, some of you will be going to minister to you. Amen. And then there are other people here that want to give. But I don't want everyone to be to have access to your life and to your giving. Some people are just wicked. Some of your family members are sitting right home watching and they called you last week to borrow a hundred dollars and you told them, no. And they say, look at her, giving Maddie a whole thousand. <laughs> Somebody say wisdom, wisdom. So we're not gonna do this online. We're gonna come offline before I come off. I want to <laughs> I want to say to those of you that are watching partners all over the world you are so special to us you are so special even if you also want to partake in this minister is the call center open today is it open people can call to the call center and people can give we have a call center on property really like right now ah be a fool amen hallelujah hallelujah I love this church <laughs> Amen. So, we're going to do that. And we want to encourage you to give. If you are our partners, our friend, you want to be a partaker of this. If you call the call center, let them know how much you're giving towards our missions the whole month of March. And as we go into April, tomorrow is April 1st. It's, amen. This month of March was our month of missions. It's maybe April will continue because we're, we're continuing the revival. So, those of you that are given that $10,000 seed. Praise God. And then those of you that are given the $1,000, praise God, we will release you our token, our token of love. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So we bless all of you today. Lift your hands up. I want to pray over everyone that's been in this room. I will stand on your feet. Praise God in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Those of you that are coming to the extended revival, 
just know that you have a date with destiny. This move is not over. And like I told you before, and I'll tell you again, I do what the Lord tell me to do. We do only what the Lord tell us to do. And as he told us to raise this altar in America and spread and fan the flames of revival, it's not going to end in America. It's not ending in Florida. It's not ending in Georgia. Praise God. Amen. Carolinas, you still on our mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. New York is still on our hey. mind. We're coming to New York. Oh. Hallelujah, Texas. All over Texas. East, West, North, South. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're coming. And if you ever, ever take a trip to America, if you're in the Caribbean, our headquarters is now located at 7301 West Oakland Park Boulevard in South Florida. Amen. It's beautiful. When you come, you will feel the power of God from the door. Praise God. Can I get a witness? Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we want you all to come join Apostle and I. We're getting ready. There's going to be training for raining. It's on the 18th of April. 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st. So also sign up for training for raining. It's going to be powerful. Those of you that feel the call of God on your life. Those of you that know sometimes you may have to cast a demon out. Praise God. So I want to it's, teach you. Don't forget it's online. So this, yeah. The training for raining. Yes. It's going to be online. So no matter what city you are in. Yes. What island you are in. Thank you, Apostle. Amen. You could be a part of this upcoming training. Woo! Don't forget. And also, where all my women are fire. Wow! Somebody say fire. So, women of fire, now, y'all have a date with destiny. May, what date is it now? May, oh, there she is. Oh, sorry. Who your baby mama is? There she is. <laughs> oh, gosh, Maddie knowledge. Uh, hallelujah. May 9th, May 9th. May 9th. To the 12th. To the 12th. Yes. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And girls, girlies, not girlies. Girlies? <laughs> Somebody say, yes, girlies! <laughs> you can't be a woman of fire. I know we scream a lot, so even the prayers to him, amen. I told them, amen, this morning I say, say Jesus. Everybody in the prayers team sounded like this, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking, prophet. What have y'all done with my praise team? They all, they, they are hoarse. Their voices like, what all of you? So, but all you ladies, yes. single, separated, married, divorced, widow, oh young, old, rich, and poor, meet me in Florida, May the 9th to the 12th. Yes. Yeah, Woo! hallelujah. Woo! Meet me in Florida. It's going to be a weekend like no other. And I'll tell you what we'll be wearing. Praise God. I don't want the man to hear. It's going to be beautiful. Praise God. Amen. But it's going to be a weekend and I'm going to be pushing with you. Push, woman, push. Push, woman, push. I'm going to cause you to give birth to things in the spirit. So don't miss it. Tell the girlfriend on the side that you better be there. Or be square. Or be square. No, no, you have to do all of this. Be there or be, be square. Or be square. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's May 9th to the 12th. And then June, in the month of June, is going to be our restoration family retreat weekend in June. So don't miss that. That's for the whole family. July is going to be our summer camp. Ooh. Can't believe. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So 
Somebody say, oh yeah, 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 it's a camp of fam, oh yeah, 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 it's a camp of fam, oh yeah, oh yeah, whatever you do, oh yeah, oh yeah, bring your children down. send your kids to camp we are there mentoring delivering them and the camp this year can only accommodate 150 children I, i'm sorry about it it's a new camp we're going to we're going to be in florida not about two i hours. think it's 150 total what you mean with the volunteer with the camp volunteers that's included i think are you serious? so it's only about a hundred children because we need volunteers to be there to take care of the children. Oh, Jesus. May the Lord help you all. <laughs> <laughs> Register now. <laughs> Register in the lobby. First come, Listen, first today come. only we'll allow you to put a deposit for your kids. Listen, once it's full, we cannot, we cannot accommodate over that. No. This is a private camp. We, we have it for seven days. And it's a steal of a deal. But like Apostle just said, I thought it was 150 kids, Megan. No, it's 100. It's only 100. Yeah. 100. They say they were saying that the children, we could uh, only have enough beds for 100. 150 kids. all together. Okay. Uh, if so, you want your children to sleep outside on the grass. <laughs> we, we, what about we, the day camp, though? What about the day camp? Now, the day camp, that's at, that's at the ministry. That's uh -huh. open for right. whoever. So there are two camps going on. Yes. Kids that are five. To 12 will be in the day camp. That's the end of June. That's June, June 24 to the 28th. Right. 5 to 12 years old. But the sleep away camp is June 30th to July 7th. Yes. That's for the bigger kids. That's age 12, age 13 yes. to 18. Okay, so only 100 kids can come to that one. Apostle and I will be there. We'll be in both camps, but we, you know, only 100. The first camp. If you want to bring a thousand of all the baby, Nene, JJ, and all of them, you can bring them. <laughs> but the first camp is open. It's going to be at our facility it's in the day. The, the next week is the sleepaway camp. I'm taking the time to do this because I don't know when God will have me like this again. It's July. It's June 30th to July 7th. Yes. Bring your kids. They're going to be changed forever. The schools are messing with the children's mind. These schools are messing with your children's mind. Yes. I'm just telling you, it's a, it's a conspiracy. You better bring your children to God. Let them learn something. Let's reprogram their mind to the things of the spirit. And that's what I can't believe. Those of you who are, can't believe last year, it was the most powerful camp ever yes. in America. In America. Yes. We've been doing this for over 20 something years. It's our heart, it's our passion. Yes. So we love what we're doing. Amen. So the God be the glory. And then last but by no means least. Amen. Of course, I said this already. I'll say it again. Uh, is the camp. Amen. That's the last thing I need to say. I, uh, I think that's it for this. For this piece. For the first half. Yeah. So God loves you. Trinity for April 18, 19, 20, 21 is online. Yes. But the peak, the next big event that is continuing is this revival. April the 5th, right here in Georgia, is going to be at the Four Seasons Hotel. Do not come to this hotel. We will be at the Four Seasons. That's we're packing tonight, and we're headed in that direction. So I want all, I want to see you. I didn't get to pray for... And, and don't forget, we need help, things. all of you men. Yes. We need help to break down. We have to break down right after the service. Yes. 
So all of you men, yes. men, men, you know who you are. Yes. So we got to break down. Yes. So God bless you. God bless you. Stand back up again and just receive this blessing from the Lord. Mommy, who is that man on the side of you? In, you in the yellow shirt, in the green dress. Yes, who's that? Huh? Your husband? Huh? Is your husband? Yes, prophet, it's our husband. Hallelujah. Take, take her hand, husband. Hold her hand just like that. Yes. I cover that marriage in the blood of Jesus. I cover that in the crimson blood. Jeba Ujiba Limari. I removed the sacroba kalekoto. I removed the serpent from that marriage. And everything the devil tried to bring, every spread of confusion in that house. I destroy it. I destroy it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bless that marriage. I bless it in the name of Jesus. I bless it. In the name of Jesus. And I command that marriage and I command that family. Hallelujah. Restoration. In the name of Jesus. Restoration. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty family. name of Jesus. I cover you all under the blood, sir. Jesus' name. Cover you all under the blood. In the name Somebody of Jesus. Somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody give God a praise. Ooh. Hallelujah. I cover y'all in the blood, in the crimson blood of Jesus. Who are you here with, sir? Who are you here with? Your wife? Huh? Yes, ma'am. Hold her hands quickly. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Your children are blessed. That's your son. I bless your family in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover y'all in the crimson blood of Jesus. No plague shall come out your dwelling. No plague, no plague shall come by your house in the name of Jesus. The name of I release the fire of God. Fire, fire, fire. Receive it. Just feel something hit me. Shatta, shatta, baba, shatta. Shatta, baba, baba, shatta. Let every marriage be blessed. Let every family be blessed. Let every marriage be restored. Let every family be restored. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name. Jesus name Jesus name may you be filled with the fire of God may the fire in your life never go out may you be filled to capacity may your capacity be increased that you will be able to carry the fire everywhere you go as you carry this incorruptible fire that it will never go out it will never be quenched it will never be quenched Somebody should receive it right now. I hear somebody by the name of Darlene. Darlene, receive it in the name of Jesus. I hear somebody else, your name is Kenneth. Your name is Kenneth. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Shaba, come on, that's your son. Bring her here. Bring her here, Satana. Rata, who's Darlene? Darlene, come. Shaba, Shaba, Shata, bring her here. Rosetta, where's your sister? I said a free. Shata, is Kenneth your son? Uh, your, uh, who's that? Kenneth. Jesus name. Be free. In the name of Jesus. Be free. In the name of Jesus. Huh? Jalene, do it, Lord. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Lights are not on. Who's Marjorie? Marjorie. Marjorie. Jabba Baba. Ratatata. 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 
be free. Let her be free. Let her be free. Let her be free. Let her be free. Your brother. I loosen in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Somebody, your name is Stuart. 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 Son, your brother in law. Who's this? Stuart. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Jesus. Name. Jesus name. In the name of Jesus. Stuart. Huh? Stuart. 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 Look like she came to receive Jesus nothing. Name. Receive it in Jesus. Pakatuba. Zelete. Zolokota. Zalakata. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Shinta. Zumba. Jesus. Kenneth. Who's that? Her husband is Kenneth is your husband. Zeta Tata. What does Jay has to do? Jay. Huh? Justin and Julian, my two kids. Two children. Jay, Jay. Be free. In the name of Jesus. Somebody give God praises in him. Somebody give him praises. Be free. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Give God praises. Hallelujah. 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 I prophesy life over their life. I prophesy health over their health. Yes, God. I prophesy strength over their strength. Yes, Jesus. I prophesy wealth over their wealth. Yes. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy In the name Ghost. Of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus. May your table never lack bread. May your vats overflow with wine and name. oil. The new wine of the Spirit. Yes. The oil of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Said that those of you that have your waters in your bags, it's okay. I know you're going to run, get it, but let me just pray. Let me just pray. I just release the anointing of God in those waters. I release the power of God. The power of God. Yes. In every bottle of water that you carry to do today. I release it in those waters. May that water become sweet. May that water become something different. May that water represent medicine for some of you. Yes, God. Maybe when you sprinkle it in your house, maybe angels be attracted to that yes, house. Yes, Jesus. And miracles begin to happen there. Hallelujah. May the sick be healed because of you. Yes, God. And because of the prayer you pray in the in name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Name. In the mighty name of Jesus. May cancer die in your family. Yes, God. May cancer never rise its head again. In that family. In the mighty name of Jesus. May your life never be the same again. May the curse that's over your house be no more. May the spirit of perversion and immorality run far away from you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Those that are sick in your family, that are in comas, those that are in comas, those that are locked in cages, those that are locked in chains, I command by the gates of fire and resurrection fire that they be released, that they be released, that they be delivered, that they be set free by the fire. Somebody shall fire the Holy Ghost seven times. Shall fire, jump and shout. Jump up and shout fire. Fire all over the building, 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 all over the building. Shout fire, shout fire. In the name of Jesus, it's done. It's done. Shout fire, shout fire, shout fire. Fire on the Holy Ghost. Shout fire, shout fire, shout fire, shout fire. Shall fire, shall fire, shall fire, shall fire, shall fire, fire, keep shouting, keep shouting, keep shouting, keep shouting, shout it till you feel it, shout it, shout it with power, shout it in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout fire. Shout fire. Shout fire. Shout fire. Shout fire. Shout fire. connected to this altar fire. As apostle and I lay hands on you today, you will see, and many of you shall come with testimonies, within the next seven days, I even prophesy, lift your hands all of you, that this month of April shall be a month to remember. This shall be a month that will be marked by yes, miracles, God. signs, and wonders. Yes, God. This shall be a month by notable miracles, creative miracles, yes. the things that was a struggle. Hey. That was a struggle. You will not struggle anymore. In Jesus' name. You will not struggle. Who's this? In the name of Jesus. Father, deliver him. Set him free. Touch him. Touch him. Touch him. Hold it. Just hold it. God is going to do a miracle for you, mommy. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Protect this one. Protect this one. A gift. It's a gift. Sell a kitten in the center. I come against the spirit of jealousy from this home. In the name of Jesus. It's a serpent. It's just a wicked spirit that's fighting. Uh -huh. It's a wicked spirit. I curse it. I cancel it. I curse it. Jesus In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I cancel it. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you right now. Let not a prayer be in vain. Let not a prayer be in vain. Let not your prayer be in vain. There's been a spirit over your family that caused mental problems. It attacks people in their mind. And it leads them to what is called great depression. Let everyone stay right where they are. Praise God. Great depression. Great depression. So even though you get your degree and you get your education or you get a good job, it causes you to go into a delay system. God said today, I break the delay system from you. As I touch you today, I touch everyone in your family. Are you hearing me? And I deliver you all from the curse of the enemy. The spirit spouse, I command him to stop coming in your dream. I command him to stop. And there was a word spoken out of the mouth of somebody in your family, like an old woman, like a grandmother. I don't know on your mother or your father's side. Yes, Holy Spirit. Let those words not come to pass concerning you and your family. Jesus in Jesus' name. Jesus name. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody lift all your hands up. Somebody. We're going to shout fire seven more times. And then we're going off. We're going to see everybody on this coming Friday night, April the 5th, at the Four Seasons Hotel. The information will be on the screen. I'm going to pray for all of you. Praise God that is standing here. I'm going to pray for you. Pastor and I are going to touch you. Praise God. And then everybody, you're free to go. Praise God. Amen. Online Wednesday. Yes. Online registration is also open for that event. April the 5th, if you're online, make your way to Georgia. 
We've heard of revivals going into overflow and going into days and going into weeks. We don't know what just is going to be. But the Lord told us to extend. And he said, go to Friday and watch what I will do on this coming Friday. And then he says, establish a work, a altar in the state of Georgia. We're only obeying God. That's all we're doing. In Jesus' name. Everybody lift your hand, let's shout fire seven. Fire the Holy Ghost seven more times and then we're out. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire revival. 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 Fire of the Holy Ghost.